Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Rebel. And as always, I have to give you my parental advisory. I tend to cuss like a sailor and I could also talk like a pervert. So if you ain't into that, exit stage left. You ain't gonna hurt my feelings now because I know I ain't everybody's cup of tea. And yes, um, I am sporting tonight this beautiful headdress I got from Walmart. Um, because I just dyed my hair. <laughs> my hair was needing to refresh the color, so that's why I'm wearing a shirt that looks like this. And why I am sporting this plastic bag on my head. But anyways, this is the long-awaited uh, vanity makeup area tour that y'all have been asking for. And I will say, I ain't no damn professional YouTube guru, beauty makeup person, as you can tell from my videos. I white trash. <laughs> we live trashy here. We ain't got the finer things in life because we're poor. So, yeah, um... This is my makeshift. This is not my deal. This is not really the way I hoped it would turn out kind of thing. But this will just have to work for now until I can eventually find the pieces I want to make my vanity table come to life, basically. Um, I've got one hair in my eye. So, Brayden's in the background. Almost asleep. I'm hoping he's going to go to sleep. It is a bit early. We're, we're like 8 o'clock here. But he needs to go to sleep. We, we haven't slept over here in two days, and Mama is about to. So, <laughs> um, hoping he goes to sleep, because it's looking like it. So, I'm not going to try to show him, because he's damn near naked. So, <laughs> he's right over here. So, I, if the camera angles look kind of weird, it, it's why. It's because he's over here. But, um, yeah, so, let me just start by trying to give you an overview if I get back a little bit. This is what I'm working with here. So, um, I'll start off with this here. This is a, um, came from Walmart.com. It was a, um, little girl's desk, basically, for a room. Super cheap, 29 bucks, and it is cheap. It is that really flimsy particle board, so if it ever got a little drop of water on it, it it's just gonna fall apart, <laughs> basically. But I just, I needed something for just the tabletop space alone. Because when I'm working, I really need an area because if, when I'm really doing those looks, I have like 15 palettes in front of me whenever I'm doing stuff. So I really, really need the space. This gave me the space and it was cheap enough. So hopefully it'll last me a couple of years. And then, you know, maybe I can find me something a little bit more sturdier and um, that'll last me longer in the long run. But this will work for now. And the same thing was I was really wanting Alex drawers. But we don't have an Ikea here. Um, we don't have um, anywhere like that. Ikea doesn't ship to us as I already looked at it. But I really want something like the Alex drawers to store with. And then get one of those tabletops to put on top of the Alex drawers. Like most every beauty guru on YouTube does. But I really like the look of that. It would be more practical for me since I'm working on not very much space at all so yeah that was what I want and like I said I just haven't been able to find nothing like that the only thing I have found close is this right here I found this at Walmart it's one of those um storage plastic storage and it's a four so it's four of them a uh, four drawer there we go dumbass okay but it's plastic. It's not the sturdiest. I'm housing all of my palettes in here. And my palettes are super heavy. And I just. I have to be really careful whenever I pull these out of the drawers. As you can see. Like the top. This comes completely down whenever I open the drawer. And I have to have stuff up there. Because I need space. So yeah. This is kind of a problem. It, it, I have to be careful. Especially when I pull this second and third drawer out. Well, actually, all three of these, they're really heavy. And I had to be careful whenever I pull those out. But I got this at Walmart, um, at my local Walmart, actually, for, I would say it was $34, $35. Um, they only had the one wife one. But that was okay for the time being. I wanted to try it to make sure I would like it. It's okay. If it was housing something like, I have one in my bathroom and it houses towels and stuff like that. That one works great, but something heavy, it just, it's, it doesn't work very well. But I needed something, like I said, to house all my stuff and get rid of that old bookcase I had that was housing my palettes. 
So, like I said, this did it. This did work. It does hold all my palettes and give me more space than what my bookcase was. But, yeah. Um, so, anyways. <laughs> over here is, um, this is the old one I have. This is a three drawer. Very old. I've had it for years. This one's even worse than that uh, the white one. Like, you can already see the top is bowing. <laughs> Before I even pull the lid out. And you can see how much everything kind of just falls down. <laughs> so, no, these, yeah, that's the problem there. I'll just leave it like that because I'm going to be get that drawer in a second. But, yeah, I mean, if you don't have a lot of makeup, if you're not a hoarder like me, then those work great. Those will work fine if it's not too heavy. If you don't put a bunch of shit on top. But me, I don't have a lot of room, so I'm putting shit on top. And it's just compromising it a little bit. But, overall, um... This is it. I will um, step back with my camera and take a, a video real quick just so you can see it from a distance. So let me pause this and I will get you uh, far away. And then we'll jump in and we'll start nosing through my stuff. Because that's what y'all are really here for is to see what the hell I got. So stay tuned. Okay, so here is my area that I'm working with. Um, like I said, we're not rich, we're poor, but hey, at least we live it up good, right? So, um, this is my area, and I am a complete hoarder <laughs> of makeup, of shoes, of sunglasses, of about everything. So, <laughs> um... Yes, I have issues. I need to go to AA. I know. I need to resolve these issues of hoarding stuff, but I can't help it. But anyways, this is, like I said, my area I'm working with. I have this cute little rug that I got from Walmart. It's already stayed because of the dogs and the kids. I've had it for a little while, so can't blame that. The chair I got from Walmart online, I need a new chair. If y'all didn't know, watch my previous videos. I had this horrible office chair. That damn thing would buck me off here and there. I just, yeah, I would wind up falling off that thing because it, yeah, it was just a bad chair. <laughs> and like I said, it bucked me off a lot. And I'm like, screw it, I'm getting me a new chair. So I found this comfortable little thing. It was pricey. It was about $100 for this. But it's um, suede, so I'm e able to get the dog hair off. Um, not able to get most stains off. That's somebody decided to use a white crayon on my chair. So, I haven't figured out how to get that off. So, if y'all got any suggestions, let me know. But, um, if it's my fat ass, <laughs> I'll tell you that. I'm a big girl. If it's me, hasn't done no, you know, haven't had no issues with it. I don't remember what the chair was called. But, I just found it online. Like I said, it was like hundred right, right at $100. So, um, but yeah, this is the overlook of what I work with every day. Whatever I do work ears. I've been pretty lazy this past month and I have been working a lot. So, but this is it. So now we're going to nose around and shit. And we're going to see what I have because I know that's what y'all want to see. Okay, so before I go to losing too much light over here, this dark corner, I want to go ahead and get this one filled and done it over with. So, um, of course, I have some necklaces. These are huge and chunky. They wouldn't fit in my armoire. So <laughs> they're over here. But I took my AOA studio that's that little container that AOA studio had and I put all my favorite eye brushes in this and put them you know kind of in order as to how I would use them uh my Urban Decay liners are right there the camera will focus there we go and my q-tips so whenever I need those wet q-tips they are right there uh let's see um this is my box that I house all my new stuff so whenever I'm going to do videos or whatever, I keep all my new stuff in here knowing that I'm going to have to use it soon. So I said I keep it in that little, that little boxes from Shop and Say too, by the way. That's the, I can't remember if that's the medium or the large. But anyways, um, another little box from Shop and Say. I keep all of my skincare stuff in it. All my night creams, my day creams, my wrinkle removers, whatever it's in here. So... And this, oh, get these out of the way. Just some setting spray and some hair shine. Sometimes my hair looks really dull before I get on camera, so I'll spray this on it. So that's why I keep that there. This is a little, like, um, I found it in a craft section of Walmart. So this just houses all my little stuff. Like, um, this is all my lip balms. 
these are all of my fantasy cosmetic uh my water activated liners these are all my like neon liners and stuff all my eyebrow stuff um just random got glue for my lashes little samples there um i don't know what the hell is in here but more samples just random stuff um mascara stuff this is just random for my blood what i do for my blood whenever i'm doing those um halloween looks and i need to pull out the fake blood i use that we just got little tweezers my knife my dad's pocket knife for some reason i think my dad needs to be in my makeup i don't know why <laughs> He would hate it, but I guess that's why I'm doing it, just piss him off. But <laughs> um, my my eyeliners, just my black eyeliners. Um, colored mascaras, and this is just a random hodgepodge of like jewels and jewel glue and stuff like that. So next we have all my blushes and not all. I was gonna say all my that ain't all my shit. Um, <laughs> these are just the ones I grab a lot. Um, a lot of physicians formula stuff. I do like their face stuff. Oops. Hold on. Let me get better. I'm way over here trying to do this shit. That's better. I have my chair two miles away trying to reach over to show you all stuff. <laughs> that didn't work. I said more physicians formula. A lot more. This is the L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted one. Um, Elf. Those infused blushes. My MAC highlighter. I like that highlighter. It's, it's a good natural looking highlighter. Another butter bronzer. Oh, on all my Milani. There we go. My Milani rose blushes. I like those. They're just natural looks. I have all those. I have the whole collection of those. Unless they come out with new ones I don't know nothing about. So now these are the ones I reach for quite a bit. Uh, so I keep them here. This is also um, where I'm keeping like the foundations and moisturizers. Or not moisturizers. Um, primers and stuff. I keep here. And um, I can see, well, there's concealer there. But this is another area that I keep my concealers mostly. So a loose powder from Milani. Got concealers all throughout there some of my um elf stuff a tart primer my elf putty primer is in there oh there's a uh, that should be up here aoa studio foundation but but yeah i have just a lot of uh, just different concealers in there so let's get down to this drawer shall we Oh, I might have to back up some. Okay, hold on, guys. I gotta pause you. Okay, so this is as far as I could pull out without this drawer. Yeah, that didn't sound right. This is as far as I could pull this drawer out. There we go. Okay. <laughs> it, if not, it's just gonna collapse because it's pretty heavy. But this is where I keep all my face palettes, um, bronzers, blushes, highlights, stuff like that. This has most of my high-end stuff is up here. So, um, let's just go ahead. We'll look around. So we have that hard candy. I just set it in here. Uh, the Pac-Man beaded blush thingies are there. My extra Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Some loose uh, glosses. Just put it there. Nail polishes I've been using. Um, we have a pressed powder from Ofra. This is the... Um, shoot. Coco, yeah, hot cocoa. So this is a bronzer. My big Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. My little Cap Ma D Alchemist palette. These are the little L'Oreal palettes I just got from Dollar Tree. The infallibles I put there. Um, let's see. I wish I would have brought my. <laughs> okay. Metal Crush from Cap Ma D. 
This is really hard to do. Maybe I should set up my camera. I'm kind of thinking I'm going to have to set up my camera. Um, the highlight fairies from Limecraft. Yeah, you know what? Because I know you're all going to want to see inside these palettes and stuff. I'm going to set up my good camera uh, on its tripod and do the filming from here on out on that. So that way I can use both hands and get into stuff better. So stay tuned. Okay, so back to the phone. Um, my camera battery's dead, so we're just going to have to do it this way. Plus, I found some lights and um, illuminated a little bit. So I left off here. We have the KVD, the live crime. If you want to see videos of, you know, specifically like highlighters, swatches, or blushes, swatches, stuff like that, let me know. That's Ofra's Island Time. Too Faced. Triple Scoop. I can't really pull it out more, but um, we have another Physician's Formula, an Ofra, the Signature. I have my MAC palettes, my face palettes, and I love these face palettes by MAC. These were like two years ago, 2009. These were the Christmas ones. I love them. Um, my KVD Alchemist. Those are um, like my cosmetic, it cosmetic brush cleaner. Um, what am I thinking? What the hell are those sprays? Y'all know what I'm talking about here. Um, anyways, the sprays, face sprays, um, setting sprays. There we go. Oh my god, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> More face palettes, so I have, um, I forgot these are little ones down here. Uh, the BH Cosmetics, uh, da, 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 this one. <laughs> BH Cosmetics, there we go. <laughs> um, Smashbox. The Planetary Cheek Palette. That scratched my nose. I just... I had to sneeze. Sorry. <laughs> uh, this one. <laughs> this is a great video, isn't it, guys? Can't think of a damn thing to say. <laughs> I'm sneezing through it. It's awesome. Okay. The All Star. I have two of these because one's broken. So I have two of those Dreams from ABH. I have the Moon Child from ABH. And I have the Flower Beauty. So yeah, this is this drawer here. Uh, come back <laughs> once I try to get my nose under control. And we'll go on to the next drawer. You can see what's in there. Okay, here we are. So this is the second drawer. I have um, my extra beauty blenders. Stuff like that I keep here. I have my lashes and stuff. I keep in this pile here. Um, this also is not, I have more lashes of this. I got a box in the closet <laughs> that has more lashes. So my extra foundations, I keep it here. These are the ones that are, um, a little too dark for me right now, but they work in the summertime. So I keep them here. Um, these are more, let's see, highlighters, blushes, stuff like that I have here. I do have these. These are actually for contact lenses to hold those. Um, I actually use these whenever I'm traveling. And I put my eyelash glue. And then if I'm tired of my lashes, I just throw them in these. And it keeps them from getting all tore up and everything. So that's why I have those. Um, I do have a few palettes in here. God, this is an old one. <laughs> this is from Bad Habit Beauty. A Midsummer Night. Um, these came from Shop Hush, if that was, if I'm right, yeah, from Shop Hush. I had every one of them, um, but the other ones, this was the only one that survived. Well, I have another one that did survive. The rest of them I depotted out of their palettes, and I put into it like a Z palette, so. I thought, I don't, I didn't know I had eyeshadows over here, but I do have some. Go to Beauty Chroma Bar palettes. I have two of Morris palettes, the Bubble Pop, and the Cake Pop. And this is my Ruby May, and it's going to be hard to see. My Neon Lights palette, so this is my Neon Pigment palette. 
So, just a, a quick brief on Neod palettes like this. Um, they suck. They're very dry in formulation. They take forever to build up. You have to use a white base. They're just, they're really finicky. So, if y'all know of any Neod palettes that are good, please let me know. I mean, actual Neod UV glowing palettes. Please let me know. So, so we're... Maybe done with that drawer. Okay. <laughs> so this is a junk drawer, basically. I hold extra, um, like my extra makeup wipes, my bottle of blood. I have all my glitters and jewels down there. Um, this is maybe a giveaway. It has a ColourPop palette in it. All that's in there. Like I said, that's just a junk drawer. And then we'll come back up here. Turn that off real quick. I may not need the light over here. I'm gonna go ahead and pause this so y'all don't have to watch me act a fool, try to move my shit to the next area. So stay tuned. Okay, so this is where all my eyeshadows are. And on the top here, I have um these are my KVD. I really like these. These are a glitter, what are they called? Everlast glitter something. Anyways, they're like a glitter matte lipstick. And then I have some wet and wild ones here just randomly placed in here. Why is this wobbling like hell? Anyways, lashes. These are ones I've been wearing. Keep it there. Brush cleaner. Um, I pulled this palette out because I wanted to start using it. This is some of my face stuff I've been using that I put up here. My Oprah stuff. Yeah, what's over here? Oh, yes, yeah, so some of those... I need to use those too. Oh. And then these have been some of my favorite eyeshadows. So whatever I'm using for the month, I keep up here so I don't have to sit here and pull them out of here. So I have my Hip Dot Spongebob highlighter palette and the eyeshadow palette. And then um, the Wet n Wild Pac-Man palette. And then my LA Girl palettes, which is Break Free. And the Made Stage... And the break free purple one. So, yep, that's the top part. Um, so we'll get down here. This is my um, where all my expensive shit is. Basically, <laughs> this is my high end stuff. So I have this thing full of Violet Voss, the ones I have, which is the Eye Donut, the Limeade, the O Snap. Um, Oh, not that one. There we go. Oh, the rainbow. The La Macaroon and the Sherbert. Um, these are the two. And I need to really keep these out, too, because I haven't used these Ofra palettes yet. I got them in a haul here a while back. Uh, my ABH Rovita palette. This is the first one. This is the all purple, pinkish kind of colors. My Kaleidos palettes. These are the first Kaleidos palettes. Um, I wish I could get the newest ones. I really want to get the new ones, but I probably missed out on some of them. So, the future is a 1, 2, and 3. Kaleidos has, or at least these, have a really good formula, and everybody brags about the Kaleidos palette, so I guess they kept with the good formula. They're just expensive, and it takes like a month to get to you, or even longer. Um... The Poison Garden Napla, Napla, KVD, I don't remember which one that is, I just got it. The hell you called? Edge of Beauty, there we go. I thought that was what to call it, Edge of Reality. Maybe it is real. it is Edge of Reality, not Edge of Beauty. Oh lord, anyways, Gingerbread Spice. The gingerbread spicy or extra spicy. More small palettes. Nabla. This is berry something. Two Faced Cat Eye. ABH collection. One, two, and three. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. Neon Obsessions from Huda Beauty. I got the green and the orange. The green sucks, by the way. <laughs> um. Two Faced, 
This is the tutti fruity razzle dazzle berry, whatever. The, the pineapple, sparkling pineapple. Um, this is the spicy bitch or biatch or it's now probably a broken bitch. I just dropped it. <laughs> Anyways, that was from Tarte. The Lime Cry Venus. This is that um, neon kind of color story. Uh, Violet Voss Essentials. Naked Cherry. Urban Decay. Melt Radioactive. Too Faced Glitter Palette. Glitter Bomb, I think that's what it was called, wasn't it? Yeah, the Glitter Bomb. The Lorac Pro 1 Palette. The Ace Beauty, or Beauté, or however they say it. Slice of Paradise. The Lorac Diamond Palette. We're not even going to talk about that one. <laughs> I, it's unfortunate. I love the colors. And I love... Well, I don't love the formula. I like the formula. Love the color story. I just hate the person behind that. So that's why I don't want it on my channel. I don't even want to say who the hell it is. That's the Flamingo. You know why I got that one. For Violet Voss. This is a um, Tarte Christmas. I think it was Christmas 19. Anyways, it was this color story here. Oops. Had some glitter and brush and so. This here is probably my favorite drawer. I mean, I like my high-end drawer, but I think that this one is my favorite. Houses all my color pops, my favorite BHs, um, and some of my indie ones that I really like. So let's go go down the color pop here. We got the brunch date, the zodiac. X's and O's, Dream Street, Butter Me Up, You Are a Cutie, um, Give It To Me Straight, Bye Bye Birdie, All That, Give Me Butterflies, Garden Variety. Um, I really like all those. Oh, I guess I keep on going. Um, the Drop Dead, Full of Gorgeous, for BH, The Aurora Lights, The Lunar New Year for BH, The Weekend Festival, and what is that color festival for BH? There we go. The sweet shop, the cotton candy, the sweet shop orange sherbet, and cherry on top. These are the BH. These are from Peachy Queen, the, co the uh, sorry candy cane, and then the ganja queen. Okay, we have my Glam Light palette, so my Street Taco. This is Peachy Queen. I don't know what it's actually named. I just call it the Skull Palette, Sugar Skull. My Donut and my little mini burger for Glam Light. Now these are um, oh, my mini BH, the Drop Dead, a uh, little bit psycho. I can get it back in there. These are all of my dyed pans from ColourPop. So we have Smoke Show, which this is the original one before they changed the name to whatever it is now. Just my luck. Good to be. Aurora right, it out. Aurora right, it out. <laughs> um, uh -huh, honey. In a trance. Ooh la la. Oops. No. That'd be all right. White and only. Made Squeeze, Orange Glad, Miss Bliss, Baby Got Peach, and Strawberry Shake. So, this is like I said, this is probably one of my favorite drawers. I love all the eyeshadows in this thing. So, one of my faves. Okay. This is my more cheaper, I guess you call it cheaper palettes. Um, these are my C colors right here, along with just some other cheap brands. Um, so yeah, we'll start off over here. And I told you that I had Z palettes, and these are the two Z palettes that are full of um, the Bad Habit Beauty shadows. So we have Dew Color Goth Palette, a Hard Candy palette here. I don't remember what it was even called now. Blissful Nudes. There we go. 
uh, suburbs say Topaz, Tropez, however they say it, for BH. An extra Drop Dead Gorgeous because I was broke, so I got extra. This is the Bad Habit Royals palette. This was the first Bad Habit palette. And I couldn't depot it, so I just kept it in there. Um, another new color. I don't remember what this one was even called. One of these don't have a name. Okay, this is the Starlight Goddess palette. This one is the one that don't have the name. It's from Duke Color. It just says 15 color. I'm not even in. I wonder how many of these I have not been in focus with. Um, Wicked Sisters. Or is that what it's called? Yeah, Wicked Sisters Sangria palette. So this is a pressed glitter. This is a multi-chrome pressed glitter palette. It's a beautiful color, but they're just hard to work with. My uh, You Could Be a Morris palette. The You Could Be Magic Spell palette. Oops. It's going to be a, a magic spell if I don't break all these damn palettes to try to get them out. Okay. We're out of order here. My Elvira palette from uh, Lunatic Cosmetics. It sucks, but I, I love it because it's Elvira. So I keep it. The Sea Color Golden Palette. The Savannah Palette. The Dope 2 Palette from Sea Color. Why are these backwards? Anyways, Dust to Dawn. Sea Color Palette. Diamond. Are all these backwards? like they are okay unisex one see color unisex two unisex five well that's backwards <laughs> the cabana <laughs> there we go from see color jungle fever juicy the frost with the frost with that really fast oh they're not even in focus here we go <laughs> okay uh fairy tale Fairy Tale 2. The Cherry. Then we have some Juvia's Place. They, um, what's it called? Oh, the Tribe. There we go. The Tribe. Oh, it says on top. The Zulu. And the Deuce or Douche or whatever it's called. <laughs> and then we have, can't get it out. The You Could Be Fruit Pie Filling Palette. We have two Beauty Glazed Mars and Jupiter Palettes. These are just um, dupes of the Huda Beauty ones. Which she was first coming out with all those colors. I have a Zodiac. One well, of the mini Zodiacs for BH. The Aquarius one. This is another just Z palette with BH shadows in it. An extra one of those because the first one broke, so they sent me a new one. Flower Beauty, Blazing Suns, a little Milani. What is this one called? Rosie Revenge. And these are all my, um, oh, what the hell? Oh, Rimmel. There we go. This is the Spice Edition, the Cripsit Edition, the Thunderstorm, the Jewel Rocks, and the Electric Violet. So that's all that's in this drawer here. Now we can pick up that tart one. <laughs> this one was spicy, bitch. There we go. <laughs> of tart. I'm not going to pull one of those out, but this is all my BH Cosmetics. I think it is all, well, except for one. This one right here is going to be the, uh, I'm sorry, this ain't BH. This is Profusion, but that one there is the BH Cosmetic Zodiac Palette. But the rest of these are all my Profusion palettes right here. So 
I'm not going to pull every one of those out. If y'all want to see a collective video of those, you can let me know. So, yep. Anyways, this is... Oh, this ain't my vanity tour that's over. I forgot to show y'all this stuff. Let me scoot over here. Okay. So, I have my face brushes here. Um, I keep all my little liners and pencils and whatnots and stuff. <laughs> Right here in this little thing. So I'm going to move it out of the way. Um, another thing in my lashes. My melt palette. I usually use it for a mirror. Closer mirror anyways. So here I have my e.l.f. blush. My Nabla. This is an adults only highlighter. But I use it for a blush topper. This is... Um, the Strobic Bronzer for Too Faced. Out of that, um, oh shit, the fruit collection that they did. And then I have a lip tint for Profusion up here that I sometimes like to put on my lips. My little, little stuff like little blushes, my Too Faced uh, Chocolate Soleil. Why is everything so close? This is from um, Lime Crime. One of my, so my only shop is saying things I can't. This is from Tarte. It's a stack of face stuff and a little pot of KVD loose powder. If I get it all back in there right. Um, my flower bomb. Is that what it's called? No, Blush Bomb from Flower Beauty. There we go. I do really like this, by the way. More blush. The flower blush. Yes, it's Milani blush and highlighter. And then a profusion highlighter. This is a little um, pan of... It's a highlighter. It's a very reddish, real dark, actually, highlighter. From... Who is it? Oh, Bitter Lace Beauty. There we go. These are all of my... Is it Stila's? Yeah. Stila. Those, um... Well, hell, you know, y'all know what they are. <laughs> These are all my Stila liquid uh, eyeshadows. I was going to say liquid highlights. Liquid eyeshadows. Oh, there's some more. We won't even look at those. Um, I, um, shit. From Too Faced, there we go. Then, uh, can't relate. Bad habit. This is a probably I should get rid of this by now. These are this is probably really well. I know it's really old, but it's probably not any good. A bath liquid lipstick, and then I have a um, this is just formula one here. Oh gosh, let's just knock the whole shit. The only thing I hate about these, I got this whole thing here from there from um, Dollar Tree and they were individual and I glued them all together to make one you know like unit and it, the damn things get stuck in and out whenever you're pulling them out so these are just a bunch of liquid um, matte liquid lipsticks I have Kylie's Lime Crime KVD Physicians Formula and then another one of those little Alchemist palettes he wasn't even looking at it but there's all that stuff there so these are what everybody's been asking about. Yes, these are my Wiki Lux blushes. I told you they were going to be display purposes only. And that's what they are. So I have them sitting here where I can look at them. Along with my little kitty from AOA Studio stuff. That holds my Beauty Blender. And then we'll move to... This is practically where I keep all my lipsticks. Um... My red toads are here. Let's see, how do I... Let's just pull it out over here. I have all my dark, vampy colors here and here. It's all my mauves, my maroons, um, dark purples, dark berries are all there. All my reds are here in this section. This is mostly my nudes, my glitters, stuff like that. Or glitters, maybe my glosses. 
and what little nudes I have are right here. And these are all my glosses um, and glitter toppers and stuff is there. I have all my liners are here along with extra lip products that didn't have room to go anywhere else. Uh, more more I don't know what these well some of those are of uh, glosses and then all my KVD what are these called? The Everlast? I don't remember what these were called. Anyways these y'all have seen them all over the place. Anyways I keep all my lip stuff here and I like this thing a lot. I can't remember. I think I got it from Ulta. It was on a clearance. I really like it to keep house all my lipsticks. Um, but anyways, this is my video. I think my hair might finally be done because I think it's been over two hours. I've been trying to film this damn video. But anyways, <laughs> plus I'm losing light. So it's time to shut her down. <laughs> anyways, thank you all for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I will see you guys really soon. Love y'all. Bye.